This is tonight's uh, walk home from work. It's always nice to walk home via the harbour. That's why I was just over there at lunchtime. All the fishing and lobster nets from today's catch. They'll be out again at kind of five o'clock this morning, catching more fish and more lobsters. Oh no, look, disaster. The gates are open, kind of cross. I need to go the long way around. It's a bit annoying. Okay, so I need to cut up this way and along to the left. Nice uh, apartments down here, and more for you Creole fans. Here's more uh, lobster Creoles for you. Hundreds down here. So you walk down here lunchtime. There's none. They're all gone. At this time of the day, stacks and stacks of them. So it's some nice food heading there. The boatyard, nice coffees in there as well, folks. Lifeboat station. And there's a nice little gift shop there for you as well. At the harbour. Right, let's continue our walk home from work. So the sea is very calm tonight. Now we've got another storm heading in allegedly. Storm Franklin this time. I've had Barra, I've had what was on the sea? I can't remember, Kiara or something. Then we had Dudley, we had Eunice, and now we've got Franklin heading in soon. This is the calm before the next storm. Sabro has been on uh, TV loads over the last kind of couple of weeks with us. Even celebrities wanted to come up to Arbroath and see what it's all about, what's happening with the uh, Arbroath Football Club. First, well, the only part-time um, team in the league and the top of the league. And they're speaking about if they're actually still um, what they get promoted next year, they will continue possibly as a part-time team. Which would be amazing. So they're playing Celtic Rangers, Aberdeen, Dundee United here next season as a part-time team with a little tiny little stadium here beside the sea. It's also the most, uh, well, the closest stadium to the sea, as you can see. Look, there's the stadium. And there's the sea. Closest stadium to the sea in the UK. Actually, it could be Europe, the world. Arbroath versus the world. There on the uh, right we have the famous Gayfield Park. At the moment our bro's doing so well, top of the uh, Championship League. Could possibly be... Possibly be promoted next season. Amazing. I've got a problem with the more wide-angled lens, folks. Look, this is normal angle. You go to a wide angle, look, it gets a big mark on the screen. And I wiped it and cleaned it. Must be a scratch or something, it's so annoying. Can't get rid of it. God damn it. silhouettes there of Asda and McDonald's and Kentucky Fried Chicken and B&Q and all the rest. So 
this is actually not my official walk home from work. I actually stay five minutes from where I work. This is the long way around if you just want to get a bit of uh, exercise on the way home. So uh, yeah, it's not official anyway. Walk home from work, but it's a nice walk. Especially when you've been sitting on your, on your ass all day. So we'll try and get to Asda before it gets dark. It's now six o'clock. This is great, having a bit of light still at this time of the day. It means spring and summer is on its way. That building there was the old Arboroth outdoor pool, swimming pool back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s. And over there is the current. We have to walk all the way along first. And then the bridge is over there somewhere. And we'll try and get up there for the train coming from Dundee. Might be too late, maybe. Yeah, I can see it coming already. Looks like the floodlights are on now at uh, Bayfield. And here we go on the beach. On. Can you see the sea? Right, um, yes. Let's get back up to the path. We're so nearly at Asda's folks, another five minutes will be there, maybe ten minutes. Right, just make out the, uh, the bridges there, that's where we're heading for. No sign of the train yet though. Folks, been for a wee shop at uh, Asda. And as you can see over there is our both training tonight at Gayfield. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah. 